Merry Christmas, guys. Today we are drawing Santa's workshop. Let's go. Hey, party people. Welcome to Party Create. Well, hey friends, I'm Tom and I'm so glad you're here. Today we're gonna to be drawing Santa's workshop with a whole bunch of colors and really cool little details. So grab a piece of paper and some pencils and let's get started. First, we're gonna start with a basic shape for Santa's house. Start with two parallel lines going up and down to start a rectangle shape. Be sure to stay light with your sketch so it doesn't become too difficult to erase later. We'll put in a third line in between these and make it just slightly closer to the left line. Connect the left and middle lines at the top for the bottom of our roof. On the right side, we're gonna make a triangle shape for the front of the house. This is called a gable. So is this, and this. This one comes with statues. Anyways, we're going to copy the angle of our triangle on the back side of our house. These lines will also be parallel and will make the shape of the roof. Once you've made the back side of the roof, you can connect them along the top. Now let's make that chimney. The chimney is a tall rectangle on the roof with a line down the middle to give it two sides. We'll copy the slope of the roof and draw that same angle on the right side of our chimney. We can erase the bottom corner. Now it looks like it's tucked right in. Now we can start on some snow banks. I'm using some big sweeping curves right in front of the house to draw the snow. We'll draw on a mound on the left and the right with some space in between for the front door. For the front door, we're going to mark a line straight down from the top of the roof so that our front door is right in the middle. It's going to be a door-shaped rectangle, unless of course you want to make it a hobbit front door. All right then, keep your secrets. I'm going to make my windows on either side equal across the top of the door and round it on the top. For the window on the left side of the house, I'm going to use the same shape, but I'm going to double up the width. I'm pretty sure this is where Santa looks out while he's drinking his hot cocoa. Put in those window frames and we can get started on the sign. I'm making mine with straight lines on the sides, but rounded up the middle. Let's sketch in a light circle above to draw in a big wreath on the front of the workshop. A smaller circle will go in the middle to show the inside of the wreath. To give it leafy texture, we're going to add C shapes all along the inside and out. To cover the roof in snow, we're going to give it a wavy line that goes above and wraps around. From the look of this picture, there's at least a couple feet of snow. Under the sides of the roof, we're going to draw in some icicles. Add in some snow on the top of the chimney, as well as some bricks. You can copy a brick pattern by pausing here. Let's go back to the front door and add in some details, a doorknob and a miniature wreath. I'm gonna add in some lines in front of the front door to show the steps going up to Santa's workshop. We can add some more detail with color later. Now with your workshop, you can do all sorts of decoration. 
I'm putting in a big candy cane on the snowbank, but think of all the things you could add. A reindeer, penguins, maybe a narwhal. It's really up to you. I'm adding some trees in the background with some snow on top. To draw a Christmas tree, start with a point at the top and repeat outward curves on either side, getting bigger and bigger towards the bottom. Add in some baubles, some decorations, and lights all over. And now I'm going to turn this house into a log cabin. You can use a ruler if you'd like. Just draw repeating lines horizontally, hidden behind what is already on your house. The wreath, doors, and windows. On the right edge, draw in a backward C shape in between each line that you've just drawn. This will make the front of your house look like it's made up of logs. On the opposite side of the front of the house, we'll draw in circles between each line to show the stumpy ends of each log. Continue those horizontal lines across the whole house and add in more stumps on the back side. This is looking like a log cabin for sure. To add some smoke to our chimney, it's just some more C shapes getting wider as it goes up in the air. All right, let's add in the last details, writing Santa's workshop on the sign, outlining the window frames, and adding some snow on the windowsills. Lastly, I'm going to add some mysterious footprints in the snow. Okay, let's get to the best part, markers. I'm going to speed this portion up just slightly. This step is fun because you get to outline all of your best sketches. Sometimes I use black markers for this, but today I'm going to use color, and I'm going to use the colors of each part of the cabin. The log cabin will be brown, the snow will be blue, green for the trees, and orange for the front steps. This is really all up to you, so get creative. If you're looking for more Christmas videos like this, check out our Christmas playlist in the description. We love helping kids just like you grow in your art and creativity, and we have a bunch of drawing and craft tutorials to add some fun projects for you to make over this Christmas break. All right, let's get back to the drawing. To color, I'm starting light and I'll get darker as I go.
As I go, wherever there's a shadow, I'll take my colored pencils and go darker on these spots. To shade the bottom of the snowbanks, I'm using a baby light blue. I can go back and use a marker for the things I really want to highlight, like the red door frame. For the sky, I'm going to go as dark as I can to make the workshop really glow in the moonlight. Mixing purples into blues will make the sky even darker. Mixing blues into the greens will make the trees darker as well. We would love to see your Christmas art. Send it in to our email below, and we would love to feature it on a future Party Create live stream. I had a ton of fun making this with you. And here is your workshop, guys. Great job, everybody. Well, hey, I had a ton of fun drawing Santa's workshop with you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe and check out our channel for more Christmas tutorials and art projects. Until next time, Merry Christmas, party people.